All right, so looking at the next obstetric issue, we are looking at what's known as vaginitis. All right. So I've told you guys, anytime you see them adding itis to something, it has to do with inflammation of that thing. So if you are saying vaginitis, you are saying what? There's inflammation of the vagina. Okay. So what we have here, we should just say it's actually like a general term, you know. Or if you say inflammation of the vagina, you're not being specific. Okay. So there's inflammation or infection of the vagina, often accompanied by the woman is passing out, you know, some watery discharge. You know, I say watery discharge. And there's yes, there's discharge, it's not watery. <laughs> Fluidy discharge, you know. Alright, then the smell is not good, you know, it's odor. So it's an incredible, uh, it's incredibly common and can result from a, vari a variety of things, right? Most especially infections, right? So for the common types of vaginitis, it could be due to bacteria, you know? So the ones due to bacteria, most of the times the woman is having like a fishy odor, you know, of the vagina. It could be yeast infections. Yeast infections, um, there's a cottage cheese-like, right, discharge. She's itchy and it's red. Okay. So it could be from trichomoniasis as a sexually transmitted infection caused by parasites. It could be atrophic vaginitis. That one is because estrogen levels in that woman is not much again. Most of the times, this is in women that are approaching menopause. All right, could be non-infectious vaginitis, just like the person is reacting from the type of soap she's using, you know, or maybe the partner used spermicides, or you know, on her, you know, they put spermicides in the vagina so that if you come in a woman, it basically kills the you know spam or sometimes some laundry detergent mistakenly got there you know all of this will cause the vagina to be inflamed so symptoms to watch out for if the woman is complaining of the vagina is itching or burning if there are some discharge there you know if she's having pain during urination or sex if there's light bleeding or spotting all right if the vulva is red or swollen, right? So diagnosis is what? Pelvic examination and vaginal swabs, microscopy or pH testing, lab cultures or DNA testing because you want to now identify the microorganism that is causing the issue. So treatments is, uh, if you are talking about infections, you can use antibiotics. If it is fungal infections, you can use antifungal creams. If it is, all right? estrogen issues all right so estrogen therapy you know so avoidance of irritants for non-infectious causes so that was the beautiful um talk on vaginitis which is what inflammation of the vagina